God bless you class. Good morning. How are you all? Are you getting ready for school? Good. Today we will start chapter number 7 lesson number 1. And the topic is reversible and irreversible changes. So in this chapter we will be studying about the changes going on around us. From the daily life examples we will understand why a change is reversible it can be reverted back and why the change is considered as irreversible and we'll be applying conditions on both of the conditions both of the types of the reactions irreversible and irreversible this picture can show you what am i going to talk about this picture is enough to explain you that when we freeze liquid juice it becomes ice cream and when we put the ice cream out of the freezer box it becomes liquid again so this is something which is recoverable similarly when we heat chocolate bar it melts down turns into liquid but by cooling again it is solidified so a change which is reverted back but when we cook an egg it forms something new this process requires heat but upon cooling a fried egg it will not be converted back into raw egg similarly if we let a wood log it will burn it will make smoke and ash so we cannot get back our wood log after it it's been burned iron nails get rust candle is burns and dissolved so we will cover them one by one first we will discuss one very important scientific reason that why changes occur and when changes occur in matter you know the answer can be very simple like the changes in matter can be brought about mixing mixing substances so whenever we see the matter is interacting with other matter solids liquids and gases all three physical states of matter are interacting in fact and when they combine changes happen so first we will discuss reversible changes a reversible change is a change where no new materials are created very first point in which nothing new is formed means we can get back our original material similarly as we can freeze up water to make solid ice or we can freeze liquid chocolate into solid chocolate bar so these are the changes in which nothing new is formed and we can get back our original material these changes are called as reversible changes like the same example i selected in the title picture like upon cooling the liquid juice is turning into solid ice cream and by heating we can get back our liquid again so this change is solidification and liquefaction so this change is called as a reversible change now what happens when we mix soil in water 
you know when we mix soil in water it does not dissolve in water so reversible changes after physical separating methods can, the components can be separated back like i explained you the method of filtration soil is insoluble in water so it can be separated from water by the method of filtration the mixture is poured on a filter paper and the liquid water will be passed through the filter paper is collected in a conical flask and the liquid after filtration is called as filtrate and the solid soil is collected on the filter paper is called as residue but when we define our irreversible changes we come to know that an irreversible change is when something cannot be changed back to its original form in irreversible changes new materials are formed new substances are formed because a chemical reaction happens example burning when we burn a piece of paper or wood it turns to ash and smoke we cannot obtain paper and wood from the ash again cooking is an irreversible change because we get new taste new color and new texture and we cannot get back our raw food from the cooked one similarly i showed you the picture of iron getting rust on it because oxidation reaction takes place like the examples now you see i have taken one exercise from your textbook now you have to predict the change in the first column i have given you the pair of substances to be mixed and you have to observe that what is happening so we will be mixing sand and sugar we will see that no change is happening nothing new is formed so the change will be regarded as reversible change sugar and water no change reversible but when we mix baking powder and water we see bubbles are evolving so when something new is formed the change is irreversible you know baking powder are the salts carbonate salts and when they are mixed or heated they release carbon dioxide gas after being decomposed they break up to produce gas so a chemical reaction is required to decompose baking powder so a change is irreversible similarly when we mix plaster of paris and water we see a hard paste is formed so we cannot get back water out of it so the change is irreversible upon mixing egg shells and vinegar we see the shells are dissolving in vinegar so the reaction is irreversible now what are the changes which are brought about heating when we cook an egg by heating it changes into another form the look the smell the taste become totally different from the raw egg and we cannot get back our raw egg so this is an irreversible change similarly heating the chocolate when you heat something you add energy into it this causes the particles to move farther and faster apart means heating solids turn them into liquid and changing the physical state from solid to liquid can be reverted back so the chocolate melting is a reversible change but when we heat sugar it breaks down its char turn black with a sugary smell so we'll be seeing that sugar is not recovered back 
after burning because the sugar is decomposed into carbon and vapor as the new materials are formed the change is irreversible and it is an example of decomposition reaction so the change is irreversible but when we heat water it changes its state when we cool it it changes back into another state this is <coughs> sorry the change of state and as we can get back our original material the change is reversible here i am ending up my class <coughs> with a hope that you will be understanding these topics and you will be able to write you will be able to define them with the help of thorough reading and after watching this video thank you very much class god bless you take care